White Oak residents want an early voting site in their community. The last election, it was it, it was kind of uh, rowdy because in a, uh, it's the last minute. People don't know how to organize it, so people had to stay tuned on the line. On the line. But now, having an early vote is here in White Oak, it will be simplify all the situation. From White Oak to go to Silver Spring, if you don't have a car, you're going to have to take the bus to go all the way downtown Silver Spring to do voting, which is where we've had the early voting for the longest of times. And people around here have suffered. We don't have a lot of resources, but I have an early vote and in White Oak and East County, it is something very important for us to be ready to all the vote can count. Recently passed state law requires two additional early voting sites in Montgomery County, but locations have not yet been decided by the Board of Elections. County leaders agree that an early voting site in White Oak is long overdue. They say it's common sense. The White Oak area is home to many lower income voters, many African American and immigrant voters, many seniors, many of whom don't have a car. Up to 35% of adults in this community don't have access to a vehicle. Taking public transit to the nearest early voting sites in Silver Spring or Burtonsville takes over 40 minutes. I love being here. It is centered in such a way that I can be in Columbia in 20 minutes. I can be in D.C. in about 30 minutes and I can be downtown Silver Spring in about 15 minutes. But I have the luxury of having a car and we have to think about people who don't have cars in White Oak. Residents can testify about early voting centers during a Board of Elections public hearing on September 18th. In White Oak, Mariam Shazad for my MCM. If you find our videos useful to you, like, share, and subscribe to our channel.